Okay, so what does that sign uh, mean to you there? You have to treat animals equally. So, equally. yeah, so like whether it's your pet or your the animal you eat. So, okay. Why not eat a dog or why eat a pork? Like, yeah. it's like, yeah. Have you ever wondered why we why we eat some animals and why we treat other animals with care like dogs? Yeah, I think it's, it has something to do with the prejudice we have yeah. about certain species that are not worth like care or love. I think both animals are equally worthy of care and affection. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. And like pigs are probably smarter than dogs in some ways. Yeah. While yeah, but uh, I think like they all deserve as much love and care. Yeah. Do you personally eat pigs and cows and chickens and lambs and? Yeah, I do eat like everything. I, I think I ate dog once when I was in China. Okay. So I treat. I I'm not like an example of like treating okay. animals particularly well, but. Actually, I'm conscious of it. I'm uh, conscious of it. So, so I'm not proud. I just yeah. It's just yeah, like yeah. Well, I like, I used to eat meat, dairy, eggs. Yeah all animals for a long time too mm -hmm. but um, some uh, an awakening like this uh, animals should be treated equally it, yeah. ca it can sort of help you live consistently with your morals Do you, you know what I mean like the, what you believe is animals should be treated equally but your actions yeah. are showing something different when you eat them yeah that's true treat some animals with respect like dogs and cats and you know elephants and things like that but the other animals get the rough end of the stick the lambs the goats the chickens the fish I try to treat them well but I, I, I remain conscious of like that eating meat they, you got to kill it so yeah. it's, it's murder in a way yeah so that's not that's not treating them well putting a bolt gun into their head and slicing their throat open yeah Just say you had more more knowledge on what goes on in these industries yeah, and yeah. what happens to these animals. If you were educated on on all to on all topics, mm -hmm. do you think that moving towards veganism is something that you'd consider? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, like if it's not necessary for us to do this to animals, mm -hmm. then why are we doing it to them for? Like if we don't need it for our health or to survive. Yeah, why, why why do we do, why do we do it? Like I don't know, but it feels like the humans have been eating and killing animals for so long that it just. It became like a part of a culture in our... Yeah. Let's just say humans have been doing lots of bad things for a long time. Does that mean we should continue doing them? No, it doesn't mean that we should continue doing them, but we have to think it over. Like. So you agree that you know if, we, if there was a pig here or a cow or a chicken and I was hurting that pig or cow, or if I went to slit their throat to eat them, you would you would yeah. feel uncomfortable with that. You wouldn't yes, you wouldn't want me to do it. it. I wouldn't want you to do it. Yeah, yeah for but you sure. would go to a, a restaurant and buy like a chicken salad or some or a, a steak or yeah. a burger without even thinking of what happened to you. Yeah, the we don't think of it. Yeah. Like first, uh, put the vegan message on it, and it gets people thinking. Yeah, I won't think about it every time I eat meat. Like, how about now? After this conversation, will you think about it a little bit more? Yeah, I would think about it more. It's a 22 day vegan challenge. Okay. If, if after doing your own research and looking into it yourself, you feel like you want to make that next step, yeah. then go ahead. Sure. So Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Bye -bye. And it's interesting as I got older that I was conditioned to think it's okay to eat a piece of a cow that's been bogged under the head, chopped up into pieces. I thought that was normal with the conditioning.